Hello, today's project is to change the alternator belt on a Mercury 115 four stroke. First thing is unlatch this, go around to the front, unlatch the front hook and take the hood off. Unlatch the front clip to take the hood off. First, you lift this cover off it unhooks and then it slides forward. Here you can see there's two pegs, another peg location, and the hook. So we'll set this aside. This outboard uses a stretch belt and you should be able to read the part number. Now all the videos I've seen show you stretch the belt on, but it's not going to happen on this motor. So I'm going to have to loosen the alternator to get slack to get the old belt off and the new belt on. Here's the new belt, Quicksilver Serpentine Belt, and it's that part number. They call it a serpentine belt because it's got the micro grooves, but there is no idler pulley, no tensioner pulley. It's just the flywheel and the alternator. If you have a battery shutoff switch, turn your switch off now. Otherwise, you loosen and remove the ground terminal and all of the connections. The battery is disconnected. You don't need to take the positive off. You only need to take the ground off. We have to loosen this pivot bolt. There's a nut on the back side, which is 15 millimeters. The bolt head is 13 millimeters. With this bolt removed, Keep track of that washer with the clip on it. Pull this wire out of the way. And now you can see the alternator pushes so I can get the belt off. Once the belt is free of the alternator, the alternator is free to swing. Now we just have to unthread the old belt around all of the obstructions, including the starter and this narrow spot right here, and the belt is off. This old belt doesn't appear to be cracked, but I don't know if you can see it. There's a glaze on it, and it was squealing at idle. Throw the new belt on, clear the starter, Clear of all of this stuff here. Get to that. I have a little difficulty threading over these two bolts, but now the belt is up here, ready to be pushed over the alternator. But it's all in place, and it's in the alternator in the right grooves. but it's a lot tighter than the original belt, which was worn. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to apply down pressure on this. Using a pry bar on the arm of the alternator and this bolt that's sticking into the block, I don't know if you can see, I'm pushing and tightening. I can't do this with two hands and do the video. As you're putting this washer in, make sure this finger holds this terminal so that it doesn't crash into this mechanism, whatever it is. But this finger here stops it so that it can't tighten against this while you're tightening it down. Here you can see the belt. It's laying in the right place. Here you can see the belt is in the right spot. Torque both bolts to 45 foot-pounds. Trust me, I torqued it to 45. Using a 15 16 socket on a ratchet, I'm turning the alternator. You can see that it's riding in the grooves properly. The belt is riding properly on the alternator. 
I'll reconnect the negative terminals. Ground leads are reconnected. I'm not going to start it. I'm just going to crank it. Everything looked good. Now to align these two rubber grommets onto those two prongs and then align the third grommet onto that prong and snap the cover onto that rubber grommet. It's in place. Lastly is the motor hood. That definitely takes two hands. Snap the front clip. We latch the, the back hatch. Thanks for watching.